Got some food? Food! Simon Thompson, world vulture expert and nanny. What a dude. Come on, look. Food, glorious food, come on. So you can see how big he is. Simon rescued this repels griffon vulture after an eagle tried to kill it. If anyone can let me into the secrets of vultures, it's him and his friend. So do I pick a piece up? Yep. And, oops. You're supposed to eat this bit, not me. Well, you can see that it's pretty useless at eating on its own. Because it's just going to pull it around, isn't it? Yeah, it needs to have a heavy body behind it, something that you can, yeah, so put, hold it down mm -hmm. really hard like this. Right. And then, and then it can... Otherwise it's just going to pull it pull yeah. like that, not get anything off it. So now you're, you're, it you're being a heavy mammal. Right. And now it can use that bill to good effect by pulling back. Oh, so efficient, isn't it? Look at that. Now we couldn't eat that, see? Why not? Ooh. Fish line. Why couldn't it eat it? Because it wants to eat little tiny pieces of it. Right. So if I hold it, let it. Yeah. And the other thing is, it try try to cover the food like this. Okay. Right. It'll actually eat out of the middle of your hand. So it'll go underneath. Yes, and tuck in underneath and put his head the in. Power is amazing. You really don't appreciate the power and the efficiency of it when you, when you watch them on a kill, do you? Ow, not me. <laughs> I can't imagine a tool more perfectly designed for stripping meat off a bone than this vulture's beak, when combined with its strong neck and powerful tongue. That's so delicate, isn't it? Are you looking at yourself in the lens? Mm -hmm. All right.